Um, however, most of your excellent visitor management software systems like Raptor um, or, or Easy Lobby, they, they spit out a sticker. And so what we've told people is this. Um, don't take the backing off of that sticker. Leave it on there um, and put that badge, that sticker with the backing on it, in a clear badge holder that hangs on a colored breakaway lanyard around the neck. All visitors should be badged. And, and the sticker we know cannot be put on seven or eight different kinds of fabrics. And, and the fabrics that it is safe to put it on, it generally doesn't stay. Um, so with visitor management software and you're going to have stickers, do exactly what I said before. If you're not going to go with visitor management software, then ask me as a visitor to produce a photo ID. That's what's required with visitor management software anyway. But if I don't have software, ask for the photo ID, and then as an employee, you sign me in. You can look at my photo and me to make sure there's verification. You can sign my name. You know, I, I kid around about this all the time, but never do I ever sign in as Paul Tim as I travel and, and, and see visitor registries across the country. I always sign in as something like Michael Jordan, or occasionally I'll, I'll sign in as Beyonce. And, and it all sounds so very funny, but it's, it's really more sad than anything else. The first law of security, or, or what's called loss prevention, securities loss prevention, says this. Effective loss prevention is always preceded by extensive losses. I hope everybody got that. What it illustrates is this. We generally don't do anything productive until we've had some pain. For example, we don't get a burglar alarm system on our home until we've been burglarized. Or more globally, we don't get a Department of Homeland Security until after 